Ken Surfs with another video uploaded today. Um, what I've been doing is answering some of the questions on uh, YouTube that people have been asking me, especially like some of the knife videos, when are you going to do some more knife videos, and they're coming. And uh, on the shaved end, I was getting some questions about what are the posters, what is this, what is that you've got. So what I'll do now is uh, not a shave video, just a, uh, a quick preview or update of the uh, shave den and some of the items that I've got in it. So uh, here we go. Here is the shave den. First of all, just a little about some of the uh, things hanging up in here. Uh, before I was married, I had a pretty good collection of uh, movie memorabilia. And then I had them hanging up in my pad. And then, you know, after you get married, slowly but surely, the wives kind of don't like this or don't like that. So a lot of stuff got taken away and put in storage. Well, now that I got the shaved in, a lot of it is back. So what we have here is we have an autographed picture that I got in 1979 from Mr. James Gardner. He had finished doing the Rockford Files. We had, uh, I happened to win a, movie, or a contest on the radio and got to go to the premiere of Chuck Norris's Lone Wolf McQuaid, and he was there autographing things. So, I don't know if you can see here, but we have some of the autographs. Down here, we have a uh, big fan of James Bond movies, as you can see. We've got a press book that my brother picked up at one of the uh, memorabilia shows here in Southern California for Octopussy. And I have a publicity picture for the last Sean Connery, James Bond movie, Never Say Never Again. Coming over here, we have the uh, movie poster for Roger Moore's, the one sheet brother for Roger Moore's last James Bond movie, A View to a Kill. Here we have uh, some of the uh, shaved in accoutrements. I've got the barbicide, got one of the vintage decanters I picked up at, uh, uh, what was it, an antique store. And I've got the 1965 Gillette that I picked up at the antique store. As we swing around, we'll see on this wall, I've already shown you, we have the uh, movie poster one sheet for the movie Spectre. We have uh, my father, uh, who uh, had a, the original shaved in, and I've copied a lot of his uh, style and have a lot of his things. Uh, my brother, again, got me a press kit for uh, the Moonraker uh, movie. Uh, 1979, I believe, with Roger Moore. And that is some of the things on display. Now, on the shaved den itself, we have the uh, everyday used items. We have the, uh, which you've seen a lot of the videos, the limited edition Simone brush. We have the Plasson. I have a Badger brush. The Skinny Macure, or a Long Macure back there. Uh, one of my dad's old high karate uh, cologne bottles that was sitting around for years and on display in these cool stands I have the 37C McCure, I've got the Black Beauty, I've got the Gillette Fat Boy, I've got the uh, I think this is the 1968 adjustable, I have the uh, Flare, the Gillette Flare, and the Made in England. Uh, I have a Diamond Dine razor here for display. I haven't been uh, ballsy enough to try that out yet, but it's in it's in nice shape. I've had it for a few years. Really nice shape. It does good on display and it probably uh, it's probably a good user. So when I get a little more daring I will try to uh, try one of those straight razors out. I've just got the uh, shaving uh, pre-shaves here. And then inside the, uh, the medicine cabinet, I've got a lot of the other uh, uh, shave soaps there. I've got my blades. I vary them from time to time. I have uh, the aftershaves. And a friend of mine gave me his father, or his grandfather's, when he heard I had a shave den, he gave me his grandfather's, uh, I think it's the Ever Ready model, uh, from, God, that, well, it was the, his grandfather's. My friend's 54, so... You know, it's got to be 60s, maybe? 50s? 70s? I don't know. Maybe you can let me know in the comment if you uh, if you know for sure. And then I've got the Gillette Tech that you've seen. I got this at an antique store. It's a 1965 uh, lady shaver. Got it for my wife, but uh, she would have no part of it. Afraid of a double-edged razor. And then just some of the colognes. Well, that's about it. That's uh, the update on the shave den. 
and uh, we'll be coming with some more videos from the shaved end real soon. Hopefully we can get some new razors. If anybody's interested, you can check my comments. These, uh, these stands are awesome. I've got a machinist friend who makes them. I didn't know you could, oops, I didn't know you could get non-magnetic stainless steel. But uh, I've got a machinist friend, and this is non-magnetic stainless steel. Uh, it's used, I guess, in the food industry, because if for some reason something about non-magnetic stainless steel and bacteria and corrosion, etc., etc., it prevents it. But uh, I've got a good friend who makes these, and I'll put his link on uh, the comment or the, uh, the section below if you want to uh, read about them. I think he sells them for five or ten bucks, but they definitely come in handy. Anyhow, this is Ken Serves with an update, and I uh, look forward to uh, seeing you in another video real soon.